What's up, folks? Here, welcome back to another FIFA 23 custom tactics video. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail today, we're going to be taking a look at the 352, which in the past two years has been a very powerful and consistent formation throughout the entire game cycle. And that's why we would say to take a look at it today. I ran it last week during Div Rivals, my Foot Champs qualifiers, and then in Foot Champs itself, where we played Golden Goal to 11 wins. And it worked pretty damn well. Uh, the team has changed since I ran the tactics and since the gameplay that you see. This is the new team that we're testing, but I will run through the personnel and show you the like the actual way to set up as best as possible with these players. So if you enjoyed the video and want to see more custom tactics, hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. But let's go and have a little look at the custom tactics. So over on the far right hand side here, you can see my ultra attacking is 352, just to note. Because it's set to ultra attacking, doesn't mean it has to be ultra attacking. You can do these as being option one, two, three, and four. It doesn't matter which one you assign a formation to, you just change to in game three as you see fit. So, three, five, two, press on heavy touch with 33 width and 69 depth. So, we're keeping the depth up there. We want to be aggressive with this formation. Obviously, we have three center backs, which can be deemed as defensive, but it is a left mid and right mid and a press. Three center mids allows that press a little bit more because you do have the security of three center backs and you can maybe risk dragging someone out here and there. And you'll see that in my gameplay. The width is 33, you want this to be relatively low, especially the meta in general, you want it low, but especially with three center back systems, you want this to be low, so that's where we went for 33. Offensive, we went for the combo of balance and direct passing, which is just like, particularly on next generation gameplay, balance and direct passing is just flat out the best combination to go with, so it's likely you're going to see this be a continuation. I have been trying to test other elements, but in regards to bringing the best custom tactics for you for each formation, it has to be balanced and direct passing. 42 width once a game, staying within that 10 radius. We don't want to be plus 10. We don't want to be more than plus 10 or minus 10 difference than our defensive width, and then 42 gets us there. It's a plus 9 increase. It just means in the attacking sense, the team will spread a little bit and not be too convinced in the middle of the pitch. And then we're running six players in the box and two corners. Very standard set up set for us at the minute. In regards to the personnel, I had been running a three center backs. So I had set it up with Posh, actually. If I can find a picture of the team, I will grab it now. And so this was the team coming into the Foot Champs weekend. With this, as I'll show, essentially what we would do was Alaba, Smalling, and then Posh would be our centre backs, and that makes sense. We then had Gusens playing our left midfield spot. We had Chiesa playing the right midfield spot. Then we had Benacer and Medel as the centre midfielders. Liao as the cam, and then Arnautovic and Chomorodov as the strikers. Actually, Liao was the right midfielder, Chiesa was the cam, but you can mix and match that. But that was a rough idea of how that set up. Back onto the gameplay now. So as I say, Gusens was my left midfield, my left midfielder, and you want your literally if you can start with a four back and have two centre backs for sure, possibly a full back and centre back, someone like Kyle Walker would work as much as I don't want to promote that absolute hell, that would work. And then your left back is who you're going to be having as your left midfielder in the suggestion. And that's the best way to set it up. You can flip the left mid and right mid setup if you need, but I find with how the game plays at the minute, there's just a little edge with setting up in this way. Then the two defensive midfielders, like ideally you want a defensive midfielder who can do a bit of everything. Medell is close to fitting that, but not perfect. And then you want a box-to-box -box player beside them. This Benacer has been nuts, especially after the upgrade. Then on the right-hand side of things, I would have a normal, uh, in this case we've got Hakimi for me, but you know that we would have a normal winger. As I say, I had Rafael Leal playing here. Then the cam and the two strikers is self-explanatory. I say I had Kiyota, Arnautovic and Chomorodov as my setup there. For the instructions, we have comes across and sweeper keeper on. I've actually said it now, and I highly recommend that you just flat out put this on in all your keepers. Try to avoid using a goalkeeper that has the cautious with crosses traits, because even if you put them on for comes or crosses, they will be cautious with it, and that can cause problems. For the centre backs, we don't change anything at all. We had actually tried the conservative interceptions on the central centre back to see how it played, but we quickly went back to default because it was awful. So we're on fully default on all of these guys. I will go to the left mid. The left mid next is going to be come back on defense, get into the box, and get in behind. As I say, I was playing Gusens here, and I'd highly recommend you play your left back in this position, whether you've got Theo Hernandez, you've got Mendy, you've picked up an objective player, an SBC, that Alex tell us. Players like that will fit this role amazingly. You want them to be able to get forward. Also, Gusens is perfect for it. I hadn't used Gusens at all because I had Theo Hernandez, but Gusens having that just like the better passing and the better shooting, I scored multiple goals with him 
two positions. So that's the setup you want for your left, mid your left midfielder. The right mid, as I say, you want to use a normal winger for this. I had Rafael Leal, Rafael Leal playing here. And it's just cut inside, get in behind, and get into the box for cross. So essentially, the big thing is that you want this left midfielder to come back on defense and cr essentially create a four back in the defensive system. It essentially creates a four back line. So you have the four line, and then you'll just have your right mid sat slightly higher up until it's not creating a full five back, but it's a four back with a bit of cover there. The left central defensive midfielder is going to be caught passing in to stay back while attacking and cover center. It's kind of my go to combo for the main defensive midfielder. Adele played this role absolutely perfectly. I'd just say he's like the uh, he's very similar to like how Kante used to play a couple of years best way i can describe it then benacer as my box to box player we put on man mark and aggressive interception so because this is a system with two dms and three center backs i want one of these midfielders to be mad aggressive i want to be one of the ball back and being able to try and push it forward benacer was fantastic for this the cam is going to be stay forward and get into the ball across any system where i've got one cam and two strikers this is what i've been running at the minute it just is the best way even if you're on the 4-3-3 attacking variant where there's a cam I would still probably run this. Just having the cam be stay forward and getting the box across gets him in so many good AI run opportunities and just good positions. And then your right striker is going to be your main striker in this case, which means we run our triple combo of stay central, getting behind and stay forward. And if you watch all the videos, you'll know the left striker is behind. Pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward, but it's effective. I love these 3-5-2 tags. It's just a show. Goosen's played a little bit more for me now. Context, he had been a super sub. He has started... 25 games for me as a mix of a left back and a left mid who's on back and he scored three goals and got three assists so like, it's not a crazy return but in regards to like a player who you're, you're simply just bombing up and down the pitch not there to score but he has the ability to score and that was the big thing that 91 attack position with 83 finishing you can manage to get someone like this or a fullback that has decent shooting or maybe even a left midfielder who can play a bit more defensively has a good enough defending stats this is the sort of player you want to that spot he's going to be playing instead of Theo Hernandez for me for quite some time now like if you look at it alone just here it, it's a huge difference better defending better passing better shooting Hernandez isn't too bad for it, I'll be honest like if you look at it 80 positioning 69 finishing he's well rounded he can play that role because since it's just better for it now let's go look at some of the 3-5-2 game just to show we had a corner here this is going to be the transition and this is an idea of the defensive shape of how it's going to play the Al defensively was filling in for the center back role because someone had gone up one of my center backs had gone up and this is very typically what you're going to have with this width we're playing on the defensive width essentially you can imagine that center circle area with the depth as well that center circle area is where you're essentially going to be playing a lot of the time with the center backs it does give passing options you see here kim and jay my center back is going to drop into position now and now here we have a situation where the defensive shape is getting a bit better this is uh, this is benacer number 24 and that's medell going to be able to chase this down with Leal. Bosch is now filled back in at right centre-back for us. And look, there's limited options for them here. Obviously, we gift that a little bit, and then Posh gets in with interception, and this is going to be the build-up situation. Because we have our calm on stay forward, if they weren't, they'd be basically dropping into like this space here. And it honestly limits the passing options quite a bit. Here, we've got a triangle to work with. We can then wait for the left midfielder, who is on get forward. Remember, they are going to be coming back, but they're going to be get forward. And just here alone, this is a, a good idea. It was a risky pass. This is a good idea of the option you have. So here you've got your three centre back. Actually, my webcam is covering it. So see the left centre back there. That's Alaba. Then we've got our central centre back, which I believe was Kim Min Jae in the situation. Uh, and then we have Posh, who's the right centre back. We've got Medell and Benacer playing here as the fielders. They are all the way at the right hand side. Loads of space, honestly, man. If I if I just play a quick pass here into Benacer, I can easily get this switched over to Liao and be in lots of space. Alternatively, Arnautovic is providing space here in the middle and Insigne is making a run or maybe Chiesa is making a run. Um, yeah, it'll be Chiesa making the run and Shomar Rodov in this. So this is a very typical like attacking system Um, after a transition from defensive. They say, I went for a flare pass for some reason there. Picks up Arnautovic and then straight away, this person's playing a four at the back. There's not crazy passing options, but obviously Shomar Rodov is there. Liao's making a run at the back post if I play a bit of time. I, I went for, I went for the shot with an arm. I'm not gonna lie. And it's just through the defensive shape again. Remember I said it plays like a four back. This is the best example of it. So because Liao isn't on stay back uh, or come back on defense, he actually plays weirdly enough. He drops in and plays like a central midfielder in the defensive shape. So you essentially end up playing like a uh, a four three three 
in the defensive shape with three people staying forward, three midfielders, uh, like central midfielders, and then your four your four back. So this is Gusens who's dropped into the space here on stay back and is essentially playing left back. Your right center back then out of the three uh, ends up playing almost like a right back position. That's why Posh was really good there. Uh, and that's just the situation. And it just look at the numbers advantage. Matt here, you can see Leao isn't playing. He's not playing out wide. He's dropping into the middle and picking up space, which was annoying last year. And we actually can see it here, it, talking about how good the defensive space is. Um, it was annoying last year because I would get in situations where I would love Leao to be tracking that run. And maybe that's where if he's on stay back while attacking, he does track that run. But a lot of people like to try and cut it back in centrally. And having Leao mark that edge of the box, although the pass didn't go there and I made the mistake with the defender, there was the chance that the ball gets cut back. And then this is attacking system. This is why I say you want defensive midfielders. Your CDMs need to be players that can do it all. They need to be able to pass. They need to have some form of finishing. We get it across here. We take the shot. Lucky deflection. But that's Medell who's got forward for us there. And he's got 60 at shooting. But in the key stats, it's good enough that he can be effective. Left foot, goal. Like that's what I'm saying. You, you don't want someone in there that's a DM with like 40 shooting. That's just going to be a risk. This is a counter attack that I really like. Obviously, you can see the defensive shape once again. We're in there winning the ball back. Play it out to Liao, who you say is playing a little bit more central. Lots of little one twos here. Quick passing, balls over the top. This is what you want to do with this system. This is meta in general, but it works an absolute treat with this system. So I'll show it again here. We win the ball back, and it's just very quick attacking play. We're, we're, we're playing a press, and we're playing direct passing. So your, your players are ready for this sort of thing. Little one twos playing L1 passes to send people on the run. Because I pressed an L1 pass initially, where not a bitch, he does this entire run. For me i didn't have to do anything extra because i've done that one pass he makes that deep grand run and all i have to do is interlink a little bit and the third goal here just shows a bit of space we, we pick up the ball with alba and here i'm trying to play it through to strong order but it didn't work and now i'm going to take time and let my players get forward Gustavs gets forward here chips the ball into anarovic got honestly blessed a little bit with how it fell we go through one up and get a rage quick but just to show the options once again here the al is bombing forward for us fantastic we have Gusens getting forward. If we just pause, we've got Onatovic, Shomorodov, Lial, Chiesa. Benacer is here where the controller is. Medell's actually, like, because we put an L1 pass, Medell's getting into the box for us. Keen again, and Onatovic picks off the thing. And here we have another red group we've got with the system. This is the second game, though, and this will probably be the last one. So I think the defensive shape and the attacking shape is all pretty well at this point. Again, this is just a little bit of slower play. I'm going to, I'm going to roll back here. 10 seconds just to show the sort of plots and options i'd say posh almost plays your right center back almost plays like a right back positioning so making sure they're comfortable on the ball is good lovely little interlink play finish wasn't quite there from benacer but again this just shows the sort of runs you can get with your defensive midfielders i'm playing this to i actually sent him on a run with l1 there and then just play a little pass honestly in hindsight i should have cut it back and i probably score but again that's the sort of positions you'll get your defensive midfielders into Defensively though, if you do pull people out, you can get caught. So obviously Posh, as I say, my right centre back was having to play um, almost like a right back. I then drag Small in across, which then leaves me essentially a weird two on one. He gets all the way through. Brilliant bit of play. Luckily, it was offside. Another example of the build up here in the passing, just to show the sort of what you expect. That's the cam. Although he's gonna stay forward, drops into the space when need it, and now he just has a big burst ball over the top of the Shomer Rudolph. Look at that for a clinical finish. This is why I love this card for how cheap he is, but. Just to show this whole this whole build up again this is from winning this back three center backs you can see you can see on the uh Gusens pushed all the way up on this side leal pushed it all the way up here gazer dropped in for the pass again we do l1 passes there's, or lt passes depending on the console they're so they're so so important um to play especially centrally to try and get those runs in behind uh and into the spaces it works so well and this is a great example in general actually let's take a, let's take it back a little bit we give the ball away here uh, but it's just a good example of how strong the system can be defensively against majority of players. Like, they've won the ball here. But look, if we count Med uh, Medell, who is who's basically going to be tracking Havertz, this is essentially a 5-on-3 situation. Maybe he can play out wide to this fourth guy. But there's always a numbers advantage. But it's never it never negatively affects you going forward. This is why it's so strong. This is why three, three of the back and five of the back systems in general can be so good and obviously i'm playing i'm playing a little bit foolish here giving the ball away and it gives you a good idea of how the def defensive shape is going to be well in from alba now there's a chance for leal to shine we pick the ball up with shormadov here our right midfielder leal he's he's, like, he's always ahead of Gus that's where you can see the instructions difference now is always a little bit more advanced and ready to make the runs and that's why i like this system. it provides a little bit of balance the owls clean through here 
There's multiple different options. I could have tried to play a three ball. I decided to run it all the way down, put it back because unfortunately, I hit the third one FIFA 22. That's becoming the FIFA 23 meta. But again, that's another example of the sort of goal you can score. This is where I'm just a bit hiccupy defensively and letting people run through. But what I know, look at this. You're already starting as a four back. Despite the fact we're playing a 3 5 2, this is how it plays defensively at times with how the setup is. So, uh, obviously, Leal is. If he's not defensive minded at all, he's going to linger in that middle part. But Houston's is always going to drop back and essentially play left back. It does push your right centre back out, as I say, which is posh for me. Which is great because he can pass. He got okay dribbling. Fill the bill. But that's essentially the defensive shape on kickoff. That's how it's going to play. Obviously, when you're in between attacking and defensive transitions, it's going to change a little bit. Big three balls are not a bit cheer. And to the chipper, I did, yes. Cheeky little chip. Rio Rage play. I think that covers the gameplay for the 352. This formation is absolutely cracking. Guys, that is everything for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do use the 352, please let me know how you got on with it. It's always great getting that feedback. If you've got extra wins and rivals, climbed an extra division, got an extra bit of those extra wins and champs to be able to, to get an extra set of rewards, that's absolutely fantastic. And just before we sign off, I want to just I put it up on Twitter. I just want to showcase the absolute insanity of my left mid options. Maybe you guys can help me out. I got Mane for my red picks this weekend. This is why you should play Golden Goal. I've, I've, I've literally 11 and 9, Golden Goal. I got Mane and Aussie Mane picks. What left mid would you use out of this? Like, Liao, I've been using the 112 games on him. Absolute beast. Returns looking like Vinny is untradeable. I don't like him quite as much. I use him as a super sub. Are, are we saying that maybe I put Mane in the team for this weekend? You know, give me that feedback. Let me let me know who I should be using in the comments down below. I say, if you do enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. I really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button if you're around here. But we'll see you in tomorrow's video, which will be another squad builder. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next one.